Hey Scott, dinner's almost ready. What do we have? Butts. Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Amy. And we are, are barely, barely chefs. chefs. Each so. challenge, uh, we get each other secret ingredients from the grocery store and we have to try and make dinner and dessert. So uh, this week, I have to do dinner. And I have to cook dessert. And we're not allowed to look up any recipes. And we're not pros. Uh, we are amateurs. Hence the name, Barely Chefs. So um, let's take a look at the ingredients and see what's going down this week. Yep. So here are the ingredients that I have to cook with. I haven't seen these yet. And um, once I see them, I'm no longer allowed to look up any recipes for what to do. So my ingredients are strip steak. I'm already gonna win. Oh gosh, wonton wrappers. It's becoming questionable. Gruyere cheese. And a honey nut squash. So. Do you have a game plan? No. <laughs> I did until I pulled this out. <laughs> so we'll see. And your time starts now. So what's your plan? Um, I am going to, I was originally thinking chili feet, chili. <laughs> <laughs> I was originally thinking Philly cheesesteak wontons until I got the squash. So um, now I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with that. But um, I might kind of stick close to that. So. so I'm putting salt and pepper on the steaks. And then I'm going to cook them in the cast iron, which I am heating up right now. And I'm going to get a nice sear on these and see where I go from there. Okay, so I also washed the squash and I'm going to try to make a squash chips. I need to cook them more in the wonton wrappers. So I don't want to overcook them. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. And the uh, the whole squash chip thing isn't working, so I'm chopping it up into very uneven pieces because I'm not good at knife skills. And, and I'm gonna try something else. Uh... With only a little over 30 minutes to go, I don't really know what else I'm gonna do, but. I'm um, gonna try. I chopped the squash up and I'm boiling it now. I'm gonna make some kind of dipping sauce or soup or something to go with my wonton. So that's where we're at with that. Kind of chop up my steak and uh, and see where we're at with that. Um, I feel like it's gonna be a bit under in some places, but. Oh yeah, I overcooked the hell out of that steak. Let me, let me just taste it. We're at about 27 minutes left. How's things looking? It's not, it's not looking. What do we got? Okay, so I'm trying to make the egg yolk 
to use to seal the wonton. This is my first wonton. It's a wonton? Yeah. You mean like a spring roll? I guess it's, yeah, sure. Whatever you want to call it. What, is, what, <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do with that? Are you going to fry it? I don't know. You got to close the ends there? I'm working on it, okay? <laughs> you got an egg yolk. You got some steak. You got some squash happening over here. Yeah. What about the cheese? Cheese inside the... Cheese is going inside the... Whatever you want to call it. Okay. Don't look at it. It's really <laughs> bad. <laughs> Alright, we're about 14 minutes left. What's going on? I'm trying to make a butter... Uh, a honey squash soup. Okay. Um, and then once I got that sitting, I gotta cook the wontons. <laughs> Wontons, okay. <laughs> and that's all I've got. <laughs> all right. We'll check in closer to the finish line. All right, we've got eight minutes left on the clock. Looks like we got some things frying up in the pan there. They're wontons. Wontons going. Yeah. We got the, the soup on the back burner there, staying warm. How do you feel? Not good. I think <laughs> we're going to have a very skimpy dinner. It's not going to be edible. I'm going to lose. I saved the extra steak oh. <laughs> just in case. So worst case scenario, we could just have a big steak. Okay, there is one minute left on the clock. How are we looking? Uh, not great. <laughs> What? This is the mess I'm making. <laughs> Three, two, oh my God. <laughs> I I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Well, let's get ready to eat. So what I have for you here okay. is steak gruyere wontons okay. with a honey squash soup with a steak. <laughs> Garnish. I guess I'll just d dive into one. They of might these. be really hot. It tastes like what's in it steak and cheese. It's a wonton, so it's, it's not bad. The wonton is kind of cooked weird. I mean, it's steak and it's cheese, so hard to miss. Got a little bit of the juice from the steak in it mixed in here. <laughs> yeah, it's extra. Full disclosure, I didn't taste that at all before <laughs> I played it. The texture is just a little weird. It's like, it's, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a... Uh, you can definitely taste the squash and you, some some herbs or something that you put in here. Yeah. So the texture is a little strange to me. I wish it was a little thicker. It's thin like milk. So, but it's not terrible. It's, I mean, it's eatable. I'll okay. eat it. Okay. Cool. Okay, it's time for dessert. So these are Scott's secret ingredients. He has not seen these ahead of time. Almond poppy seed muffin mix. You always keep me muffin mix. I, I told you I forgot that it was four ingredients, <laughs> so I really want a poppy seed muffin mix. Ginger snaps. <laughs> Hershey's pudding. <laughs> Give me a break. And chia seeds. <laughs> okay. There we go. He's going to make dessert. These four ingredients. Good luck. And go. All right, so what do you think you're going to be doing? All right, I'm going to make a cake since I have this muffin mix. 
and I'm gonna maybe put some of the chocolate pudding in there. I don't know how that's gonna work. And then I think I'm gonna make like a, some sort of brittle with the chia seeds and the poppy seeds in here. Mm. And maybe make like a ginger snap whipped cream. That's my play. Sounds pretty fancy. Yeah. All right, I'll check in with you in a minute. Okay. Some sugar in a pot right now heating up. I whipped some egg whites and then I whipped some egg yolks separately with some sugar and I'm gonna mix it together. Hopefully make a cake. All right, so almost 12 minutes have gone by and he is wheeling and dealing. So what are you doing right now? Egg whites and the egg yolks. Mm -hmm. I have a little bit of flour. Now I'm adding some of this muffin mix. Ah, oh, shit. Spilled it everywhere. I should sift it in here, but I feel like I don't have time. But it's just getting dumped. What are you doing to the sugar? Just making some caramel so I can make some brittle to put the chia seeds and the poppy seeds in. And that's like a little, I don't know, thing that's going on the plate. <laughs> okay. What are you doing with the pudding? I'm gonna put some of it in the cake mix and see if that works. Can I sample one? Thanks. That one's for me. Okay, my caramel is going. Brown it up pretty nice. And I've got my mini cakes ready to go in the oven. Here we go. Oh Lord. The cream going right now and uh, brittle is cooling down on the top of the oven. Gonna crush up some ginger snaps in a minute. Oh man, I'm tired already. Timer just went off for his cakes. He's checking them again. I think they're done. Oh, I'm gonna put them back in. I'm just gonna give it a couple more minutes. It's because you only have 16 minutes left. I, it may not be a cake. I may have to call it something else. Okay, like a porridge? Like a... <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> so I took these things out of the oven and they're not as cake-like as I wanted them to be. They're kind of like... I don't even know. What is that? Looks like he's got about four minutes left and he's finishing up the final touches. It looks like he's going to get done before time is up. Okay, so my dessert is... <laughs> I was, it's gonna be a cake, but it's it's closer to like almost like a, a bread pudding. So I'm gonna call it like a sticky chocolate almond pudding with uh, ginger and chocolate whipped cream and some chia seed and poppy seed uh, brittle. Okay. What are your thoughts? It's not bad. The um, the brittle <laughs> tastes like <laughs> chia seeds. It belongs on a bagel, like an everything bagel. Uh, okay. It doesn't quite fit with everything else. It's not like terrible. It's just not good with the dessert. The cake's consistency <laughs> is like a damp sponge, <laughs> but not like sponge that you want a cake to taste like. <laughs> Or feel like in your mouth. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. But flavor wise, it's pretty good. Um, the chia seed brittle is a bit weird. And again, the consistency is a bit weird of the cake. Or pudding or whatever you want to call it. Sponge. Damp dish sponge. <laughs> So you can expect this level of cooking and baking going forward. <laughs> and some might be better and some might be a lot worse. Let us know in the comments who you think won, who had the better dish. And then that person will get an advantage in the next challenge. Yep. So 
let us know. Yep. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.